Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is my first video back from vacation and I decided to keep this for one more video before I excise it from my face. Uh, we got a lot of comments to get to because I haven't done a comments video in a while. So I hope you have your favorite beverage of choice. Myself, I have a cappuccino uh, because it's a little uh, early for an adult beverage. So I'm going to have some cappuccino. So hope you get your beverage of choice. Get into position because we're going to hit these comments and we're going to hit them hard. Here we go. First set of comments comes from Jeff Baird. And Jeff says, for the claimant of the facts is with the knowledge of the correct sentence structure, communication, grammar, correction of the DWM hyphen Corento claim by the claimant. Okay, so several things uh, are at issue with this sentence. It is not correct sentence structure um, because, first and most importantly, the positional sequencing is wrong. It's not correct. Because if you were to read this backwards, as I've said ad nauseum multiple, multiple, multiple times in multiple videos, there is a specific sequence to the positionals. You have a cause, concern, verb, possessive, concern, possessive, authority is the basic structure. Doesn't matter if you read it forwards or backwards. It's always for the facts of the facts, verb. For the facts of the facts, verb. For of verb. For of verb. Always. So when you write your sentence, if your positional sequencing is not correct, when you read it backwards, just like a math problem, when you check your math problem backwards, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 minus 2 equals 1. If your order of operations is not correct, then your sentence is not mathematically certified. And that's the case here. Because when you read this backwards, it says, for the claimant with the DM, DWM co-rental claim. So the way to fix that is... Uh, Jeff would have to put a possessive in between of the DWM co-rental claim and by the claimant. He'd have to have a with the something, whatever he wants, with the statement by the claimant or something like that. That's how you would fix it. Now, there are other problems in here because I don't know what correct sentence structure communication grammar is. Okay, I know what correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar is, but I don't know what a correct sentence structure communication grammar is. Because if we're going to use the name of the technology that Colin David Ifa Wynn Colin Miller uh, put out to the public, then it would behoove us to get the name correct each and every time for correct performances. <clears throat> also, DWM, what is that? What fact is DWM? Because if you're going to use an abbreviation, you have to use a correct abbreviation. So in this case, the correct abbreviation for David Wynn Miller, colon David Eiffel Wynn Colin Miller, would be 
D period hyphen W period hyphen M period. That would be the correct abbreviation. Uh, so let's take a look, quick look at these other sentences. For the autonomy, oh, one other thing about that sentence. Jeff is saying if he is the claimant, which he wrote the sentence, although he didn't take authority over the sentence, he didn't put his name in there, but since he is the one writing the sentence, then one could reasonably guess that Jeff is the claimant. Because if he, Jeff is not the claimant, then that would mean Jeff is making a claim for someone else. And that's a no-no. That's a trespass. So we can reasonably guess that he is the claimant. So when you read it backwards, he's saying that he is the claimant who is making a grammar correction to the quo rental. So if that's the case, Jeff, I'd love to see your correction. Okay, so the next one, for the autonomy of the correct sentence structure, again, he uses the incorrect title, is with the practice of the conversion with the Mort Gage loan contract, particle of negation and contract, C-O-N-T-R-A, contra. That is why contract would be hyphenated, C-O-N hyphen T-R-A-C-T. Or auto loan of the, yeah, again, incorrect positional sequencing that is not correct sentence structure for the room of the 900 hyphen pound hyphen gorilla is with the application well done on the sick there jeff but again which i don't know if i noticed it oh i didn't notice it in the other ones Jeff is being inconsistent in his capitalization of his facts. Some facts are capitalized, some of them aren't. There would have to be closure for that, for rule one, rule equal. It's always best to be consistent in your capitalization and your style of casing on your letters. Okay, here he does use correct sentence structure, communication, parse syntax, grammar, with the fictional world of the fictional grammar by the claimant. So Jeff is saying... And again, the, the positional sequencing is not correct here. So this is not correct sentence structure. But if you re read this backwards or try to read it backwards, it appears as though he's saying that Jeff himself is with the fictional grammar and the fictional world, which does certainly seem to be the case. Jeff, if you're serious about learning the grammar, contact me at the email address below your screen. We can straighten these things out. Thanks for the comment. And thanks for putting yourself out there for this critique. Next comment comes from Abraham J. Colon Abraham hyphen J space colon space white. Incorrect abbreviation, incorrect colon placement. For the people of the knowledge are with the seeing particle of negation ing through the psychological operation with your trickery <laughs> what? for we stand with the chief and copyrights holder oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen what a surprise no wonder the colon placement is incorrect and this is so muddled Try and read this backwards, okay? Well, don't forget about the four we stand with the chief and copyrights holder because that's just gibberish. The rest of it's quantum gobbledygook because if, as I stated in the last section, correct sentence structure is cause, concern, verb, possessive, concern, possessive, authority is the basic structure for, of, verb, with, of, with, by, for the facts, of the facts, are, with the facts, of the facts, with the facts, by the facts. You can flip that around any way you want. It's going to read the same way forwards and backwards, mathematical certified. Mathematically certified, unlike this. Because when you read this backwards, it says, of your trickery. And then what is through? They use through as a positional. What's congruent with through? Let, let, let me look this up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please humor me here. I just looked up what the opposite of through would be so we could have a starting point from which to figure out how you would read this backwards if you were to try, which I'm trying my best to. So opposite of finished or having been brought to an end. 
would be ongoing, continuing, incomplete, uncompleted. Opposite of through. Opposite of finished or having been brought to an end. So we'll say ongoing or continuing. Okay, we'll say continuous because that is positive performance with correct sentence structure. Because we would not use ing. Ing is a gerund modifier. And correct sentence structure is void of modification. Of your trickery, <laughs> continuous, the psychological operation, particle of negation there with the vowel in front of a consonant, that's a no. Of the seeing, wow. I, try as I might, I really cannot make sense of it. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really going to spend any more now trying to, other than to show, once again, that this is the level of knowledge that those people have this is, the, this is a good representation of the grammar knowledge that Russell J. Gould's students have. This right here. I don't know how many times I can say it, show it, whatever. It is what it is. I wish them all the success in the world and they can stay over there if they want to um, with the chief. <laughs> Next comment comes from Jonathan Todd, and uh, he says, you get people who schedule consultations and then don't show up? Wow. Yes, indeed I do, Jonathan Todd. I get people who schedule workshops that don't show up, all right? And this, is again, is part of the vetting process. In order to use this grammar, not only do you have to learn it and get closure on it, like and know it like the back of your hand and know it well enough to teach someone else, and have closure on every little minuscule thing that you do. But you also have to keep tabs on your location in the now space. As you know, as it relates to other contract parties in the now space. In other words, you have to be able to keep appointments. Keep scheduling. Get yourself from point A to point B when you say you're going to get there. And if you can't get there when you say you're going to get there, then of course you give notice. And say, you know what, sorry, this came up, not going to make it, going to be a little late, coming in on the rum line, whatever it is. Can we reschedule, please? You would say these things. But no, there are people that just don't show up and then they get angry at me because I didn't tell them what the time difference was or whatever. And it's just, you know, part of the vetting process. If you're, you know, get your big boy pants or whatever, big girl pants out of your purse or out of your backpack and put them on and figure out where you are and keep your appointments on time. It's easy. Next one comes from Dennis Thompson. And they say, I very much like your style. Straight, front, down to earth, old style thinking with your, within yourself. And yes, I could see you easily talking versus others yelling with broken bottle in hand, with his mates holding him back. <laughs> My hat goes off to you, Jason. I think many of the problems, thinking, lack of thinking, etc., is getting higher and higher each year now. People seem to not have a brain at all within 30-second limit to looking at evidence before they turn off. Please, my next words don't mean to offend as I see you don't do now. Please, my next words, I don't mean to offend, as I see you don't do now. Hmm. But like your hand movement talk, maybe might have to bring mind control images, sound stuff into your work like media does these days. A little fact story at my workplace, 22 workers, all with licenses and cars. At the start of me working there, I explained that if anyone needed help with government, health, traffic, children, minor drugs home loan rates, I would be happy to help, all silent info, etc. Three years later now, five, no license now, one died two week after jab, three crying, 
Ooh, I can't believe I said that out loud. Oh, well. Crying about loan rates have gone up eight times now, and all crying about all events all tell all people within work. I'm not sure what he's saying there. I second talk all them and all diss me. The women now do nothing to help themselves. Dennis Michael. Hmm. That's a bit confusing to me what you're talking about there, Dennis. Some of your wording is a little confusing to me. I'm not going to comment on what is not clear to me. But it appears to me that you, in this sentence where you say, maybe might have to bring mind control images, sound stuff into your work. Um, it sounds to me as if you're suggesting to me that I bring those elements into my work. And that's a no-no. Because control is an act of war. And I have no desire to control anyone, much less their mind. It's my volition to put, be transparent and put the information out there for those who want to hear it. Like I hear people talking about, they want to bring the grammar forward. The grammar is already forward. The grammar is right here on this channel, over 500 videos. It's here if you want to learn it. If you do a search on YouTube, correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar. My channel is going to come up 10 out of 10 times. If you do a Google search of my name or correct sentence structure, I'm going to be one of the search results. It's out there. It is forward. No mind control needed. People just have to make their own choices. That's it. No control necessary. Because if it's your volition to try and control people, then that makes you no better than the fiction. The fiction wants to control people. The fiction wants to manipulate people, and they do, through fear and lack of knowledge. But that doesn't exist here in this venue. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from Jackson Scully, and they say, Is there somewhere I can view his flag for myself? Oh, and he's talking about the video I put up where I show that Russell J. Gould uses a 1 by 1.9 flag modified 1.9 flag with a spire on top, which by his own words in past videos and interviews has said means it's a military court-martial flag, meaning he's at war with the people. Just like he said, if you walk into the Secretary of State's office and you see the, the stars and stripes in the back on a pole with a spire on top, it means they're at war with the people. That's what it means by his own admission. Army regs, 840-10. Uh, but I do give a link there so that uh, anybody can go to his, his website and see that flag on his documents, that modified flag. It is not a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar flag. Next comment comes from Quayland James. And they say, very interesting, the antics amongst the people investigating all of this. He's already discredited himself trying to act like a Delta Force operator in front of a live audience. That's interesting. I would like to see that. Um, what live audience was it? Where was it? Is there video footage of this, Quaylen James? Because I know who you're talking about. You're talking about Russell J. Gould. Um, I'd very much enjoy seeing that footage. Email it to me at the email address at the bottom of your screen if you have access to it. Or if, perhaps if you saw it live, maybe you can share a little bit more data about that. Next comment comes from uh, Pascal. And Pascal says, For this claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the honor and of the joy, with the claimant's name of the mention, with the spontaneous stream 7, colon space, which would be of the 33, 24 January 2023, and then of the video and audio with the Jason Matthew Glass of the performance with the sensation by this claim, it's Pascal. So I do think I did address this with Pascal in the comments that that colon after the 7 in Spontaneous Stream 7 is not correct because now he's put an of the 33 next to of the video. So the positional sequencing is not correct. Uh, but other than that, Looks good, Pascal. Next comment comes from JC. 
and they're answering another comment that was up there but the reason I'm putting this here is to show you uh, the errors in, the, in their sentence here so they have colon space casting as I've said multiple times correct sentence structure starts with for the every sentence every name every title whatever it is whether it has a verb or doesn't have a verb when you're reading it forwards it starts with for the okay they have colon space that means of the that is not correct then we have a particle of negation and casting with the ing modifier and then we have no contract contra is a particle of negation in the word contract so the word contract would necessarily have to be hyphenated so you separate the con from the t-r-a-c-t -T for a rule one rule equal performance so that it becomes positive performance rather than having the particle of negation in the word next comment comes from brandon sawal and brandon says chivalrous is my middle name so Brandon's middle name is Brandon Chivalrous Seawall. And he's commenting on my little narrative video on etiquette that I've encountered in my travels and the severe lack thereof in North America. And a lot of people <laughs> got a little upset about that. You got a little butt hurt. And I would have to guess that those people that got butt hurt, those of you out there, who got upset by what I said are probably the very people that could benefit from learning etiquette. Next comment comes from member and longtime viewer Razvan. And they say, first of all, thank you for sharing this kind of knowledge. Your psyche playlist got me out of a dark hole. I found myself mentally after learning about the grammar corruption. I was very confused between knowledge and presumptions. It's like my ego was addicted to presumption, so it felt pride about how much it thought it knew. Facing one's own lack of knowledge takes humbleness and offers the strength to demolish and start over. Ego is a disaster, a blind driver, a monkey with a gun. Ego is no go. Literally. Because a vowel in front of a consonant means no. And yes, it does take humility to realize what one doesn't know the enormity of the lack of knowledge that we each <laughs> possess how can you possess a lack of something see the fiction is so goofy the way you word things it's crazy but yes it does take humility to understand your your own lack of knowledge it does and by all means i fall into that category as well there's so many things that I don't know about, don't have closure on. But one thing that I do have closure on is this grammar. And I'll take the Pepsi challenge with anyone. Next comment comes from Shirty2. And they say, I always wonder whether David Windmiller was a Mason or not. Well, wonder no more, Shirty2. David has come out into the public on multiple, multiple occasions and claimed to be a 90-second degree Freemason. He said it himself out of his own mouth. You can look those videos up, just about every video where he's done a seminar by himself. He claims to be a 92nd degree Mason. And if you also watch the Reno seminars that Russell J. Gould put on in 2018, you will see Russell sort of back that up by saying that David was a Mason, David's father was a Mason, and David's mother was an Eastern star. So, there's that, if you want to consider that evidence. 92nd degree, question mark. I don't think so. But I recall reading something about his mother on Wikipedia a long time ago now that she was a Mason of some kind. Well, yeah, I just said um, that Russell J. Gould has claimed that David's mother was an Eastern star. But if you don't think that David was a 92nd degree Mason surety too, then what is the basis of that knowledge? that claim that you don't think he was, why don't you think that? Do you have knowledge of masonry? Are you a mason? You know, I've asked that question of Freemasons. I have. I've said, is it possible for someone to be a 92nd degree mason? And the way they answer the question 
it's sort of in a condescending way, but they're never straightforward about it. They never say, no, that's not possible. They always make some kind of joke about it and then ignore me after that. No one has ever given me a straight answer. So, I mean, come on. How many degrees are in a circle? 360. So, potentially, someone could be a 360 degree mason, I suppose. Next comment comes from Magical Fluid Process. And they say, I realized at some point that there is a difference between what I know versus what I have been told. Fair play to you for being a bastion of truth in a sea of fiction. Thank you very much for those kind words. I appreciate it. Next one comes from this Joe Smith. And they say, for me, not being a Mason is what reminds me that I don't know their workings and machinations. I believe hidden agendas have been running everything I've grown up around. It's quite possible, this Joe Smith, that that is true. The most powerful system in the world, well, one of the most powerful systems in the world, the legal system, the justice system, I would have to say you would be hard-pressed to find one of those judges wearing those frilly black dresses that are not a Master Mason. You would be hard-pressed. I would ask you to show me one that is not a Master Mason. Okay? Just saying. Another comment from Magical Fluid Process, and they say, Hi, Jason. I know very little about masonry, but I am guilty of running with assumptions about the masons based on information I have consumed over the years, but I have no idea, really. Same here. Same here. I only know what I've learned through some of the books that I have been able to find, and I've also been able to find some textbooks not available to the public that were lodge-specific in used bookstores throughout the South. Like books that probably were not meant to be read by regular everyday people in a bookstore. Like, like the Morals and dog Dogma from Albert Pike. That's common knowledge. That's available on the internet. They, they let that out. I'm talking about books that they would not normally let out into the public. Where maybe someone in someone's family who was a Mason died suddenly or abruptly. And maybe they were a low level and the other Masons don't really care about them or whatever. And so the family just takes all their belongings and sells them. And they end up in one of these little books, end up at a, at a used bookstore where it was never supposed to be, and fell into my hands. But they do say in these books that they will never write down the specific rituals and inner machinations of the craft. They will never write it down. It's always passed down verbally. And that's why if you are not a Mason and I'm not a Mason, we will never know what's going on there precisely unless we become Masons, which for my part will not happen because I don't believe anything that comes out of a Mason's mouth. I don't put much weight in it. I do weigh it, but I don't put much weight in it. Nothing against them, okay? I'm not saying anything bad or good about them, but I'm saying that I know that they're a secret society. I know that they purposely hide secrets. And by hiding secrets, it's by omission. And I don't participate with those types of things. There's a difference between secrecy and confidentiality. Here's another comment on... The masonry post that I made from Exposing the Dirty Few. And they say, well, I do know that 2017 was the 300th year of Freemasonry. See YouTube for their big celebration. Making 2020 the 303rd year. Using their rule of numerology of dropping to 033 of Freemasonry. And the corona being part of the eye is no quinky dink for their eye symbolism in 2020 vision. They have a hand in designing the English language and I have 775 videos proving that very nasty words, psyops, swear words, biblical passages, and masonry terms all equal 33, 66, 133, 66, 1333. And only two ciphers called Chowden and Pythagorean, just as you 
mathematically prove your correct sentence structure, parse a syntax grammar. Well, the most impressive part of that to me, exposing the dirty few, whoever you are, um, is that you have 775 videos. I know what it takes to create over 500 videos. I myself have shot over 500 videos, edited them, put them together, and published them. If you, yourself, using yourself as the narrator or whatever, you yourself have created 775 videos, then my hat's off to you. Much respect. How much time did, uh, now space, how much time did it take you to create that, I wonder? 33 equals 66 in Pythagorean, and 38 in Chaldean, 38 equals 66 in Chaldean, here's some more of that. 33 and only those two ciphers, apologies for no commas. The devil, El Diablo, the pit, the code, the masonry, <laughs> astronaut, earth orbit, the Milky Way, black hole, big bang, what is that? So I guess I'm a nobody. Nobody. So you're guessing you're a nobody. Okay. I don't know what... Uh... Okay. Let's put this in a grammar perspective. In correct sentence structure, one and one is one. All right? One word, one meaning, one congruency, one function. Across all contracts. Document, contract, postal, vessel, court, venues. You would not have 33 equaling 66. 33 is 33. 66 is 66. can only mean one thing at a time. Okay? So that is why, you know, this type of ciphering and things like that um, has nothing to do with correct sentence structure because it's meant to be coded or secretive it's meant to keep knowledge out of the hands of everyone therefore a violation of rule one rule equal and i don't participate with any of that and then if this stuff that uh, exposing the dirty few dirty few is claiming is true then that triple and quadruples my volition to not have anything to do with freemasonry because I don't want to participate with violating rule one, rule equal. Next comment comes from Rube Star, and they say, Mason levels seem to correspond with reading levels, presuming we are first grade and or second. You start at the third level or grade of masonry. David Miller was really a level 100 Mason, in my opinion, because he was at level or on the level, not tilted or crooked. Hmm. Well, let me use some of Rube Starr's own words in here. He's saying, he's literally presuming, he's literally giving an opinion. And he's more than welcome to his opinions of correlating Masonic levels with reading levels and presuming whether or not David Wood Miller was tr tilted or crooked. I mean, those are all opinions. No way that... Uh, those things can really ever be certified. Um, David Wynn Miller was really a level 100 Mason. Well, again, Rube Starr. David Wynn Miller has come out multiple occasions in multiple public videos claiming to be a 92nd degree Mason. He never claimed to be a 100 degree Mason. He claimed to be 92nd. And I have no way of certifying that. I'm not a Mason. Um, so... You could either take him at his word or not. And the final comment comes from James Vigil. And they say, Satan will reign almost completely by means of the Masonic sects. And he attributes that quote to Our Lady of Good Success, January 21st, 1610. Hmm. Well... Should I go into this, ladies and gentlemen? I think not. Let's just say that uh, that quote is attributed to a location in the now space from 1610. 
And unless you were alive in 1610, how can you possibly certify that uh, this quote was ever quoted? And also, good gosh, I got to say it. What is a Satan? <laughs> what is the certification of a Satan? What is that? Are we talking about the villainous, villainous fictional character of the Bible? I mean, I suppose that's, that's probably what we're thinking of here. But in any case, thank you for the comment. And uh, if you want to learn the grammar, if you want to learn about facts that you can certify, hit me up at the email address at the bottom of your screen. That about does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.